What's up, YouTube Fragrance family? Tommy with Studio Sins here. Hope you're having a great day. You know, if people's reaction to Tom Ford's ombre leather has taught us anything, it's that you never can get tired of really well-done leather fragrances. There can never be too many well-done leather fragrances. I feel that was true 20 years ago, and it's true now, even in 2022. Last year, when Salvatore Ferragamo came out with Intense Leather, this was a really nice surprise. I didn't really have any expectations out of this fragrance, but it's a really nice, lightly sweet, new leather fragrance, so I'm very happy to bring you guys my first impressions of Salvatore Ferragamo's Spicy Leather. This is the follow-up to Intense Leather. It was launched in the latter part of 2021, so when we come back, we're going to take a closer look at this spicy leather fragrance that and more is coming your way so stay tuned welcome back everyone if you enjoy fine leather fragrances like i do then you probably really enjoyed tom ford's ombre leather or maybe you prefer the lighter leathers like salvatore ferragamo is known for really happy to see that they released a different flanker to intense leather called spicy leather this came out the latter part of 2021 and we're going to take a closer look at it today but before we do let's take a look at that presentation the box itself is a deep maroon color the salvatore ferragamo logo is in gold and ferragamo spicy leather the words are in gold as well as below that special edition salvatore ferragamo parfum pour homme this is a 100 ml bottle and is a parfum concentration. One side of the box continues the Ferragamo logo, but the other side of the box has the actual notes. The bottle itself is the typical Ferragamo bottle that we're used to seeing with the Ferragamo in gold leather on the cap and it continues on down towards the, the strip down the front of the bottle is a dark maroon kind of leather. The bottle is clear glass and the juice is a golden color which matches the thematic elements of the presentation. The cap is a combination of the plastic and leather and the atomizer of course is gold and I absolutely love the atomizers on these bottles. They're very high class similar to the other Ferragamo bottles. Really nice presentation. So the presentation we've seen before, it's the typical Salvatore Ferragamo, of course, it symbolizes their belt and other leather apparel designs that they have, embeds it into the actual presentation of their fragrance, which is really nice. And I do like that golden juice that kind of gives it a, a warm home and hearth kind of look, which matches the spicy theme, right? Really like the presentation, but what about the actual juice? Let's talk a little bit about the note breakdown. Salvatore Ferragamo Spicy Leather features top notes of saffron, bergamot, and lemon, with heart notes of black pepper, nutmeg, clary sage, and cedar, resting on a base of leather, patchouli, and sandalwood. Spices that they've chosen to use are some of my favorite in a fragrance. I really do like saffron. Saffron is such a warm, kind of golden, inviting, kind of spicy note. And it mixes really well with nutmeg in the, in the heart. It goes really good with clary sage and lavender and some of those other really nice spicy accords. The box calls the open golden brightness and the heart vibrant confidence and then mysterious journey is the base. So interesting concept. Let's go ahead and check out that juice. They really didn't spare any expense when it came to the atomizer. It's one of the better ones. It's where you can kind of mediate how much juice that you want. If you want just a very little, you can do a very little. If you want a lot, you can go the whole nine yards and that's what I'm going to do. Whole nine yards here. It's a very nice aerated spray. It doesn't run. It's excellent. If you don't like saffron, you probably won't like this fragrance, but it's a really nice mix of leather and saffron. You get that immediately. The open is bright. That kind of golden feel coming from the saffron, that warmth, that brightness embedded in the the bergamot, the lemon, black pepper, nutmeg, clary sage, and then a little bit of cedar in the heart there. Cedar adds some nice mediation to those spicier notes. I tell you what guys, I am really liking this off a tester strip. Unless my body chemistry changes it drastically, I can tell you right now, 
this is going to be a hit. The special edition fragrances are kind of an afterthought, so they don't always have that stress, the pressure to produce that's sometimes related to, you know, A-list fragrances. It's really nice to see that there's a, a bit more thought put behind a fragrance like spicy leather. So I'm really happy with how those notes are balancing out on a tester strip, so let's check it out on skin. Absolutely love this atomizer. I'm gonna say it again and again. If you haven't treated yourself to the Ferragamo Intense Leather to check out that atomizer, of course the Ferragamo fragrance, the flagship fragrance, is also a very nice, very light, pleasantly citrusy, light leather. But if you want something a bit more intense, but still on the lighter side of the spectrum, then intense leather is where you'll want to go. In typical fashion, I'm going to let this dry down a little bit. Then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts on Salvatore Ferragamo's Spicy Leather Special Edition 2021. Something interesting is happening on my skin in the dry down of this fragrance that I really like. The combination of these notes, primarily the clary sage, the saffron, a little bit of the black pepper, mixture of the sandalwood and cedar is coming across like a very light and i mean a very light non-animalic non-fecal a very light oud so there's a bit of an oody feel is is almost like uh, have you ever put your hand under a faucet when you're running very hot water and you hold it under there long enough to where it almost feels like it's cold water so it kind of confuses the senses a bit so for a brief moment, it feels cold, and then you realize, no, that's really hot. And that's kind of what this is doing when it comes to leather and oud, which are two very different accords. I'm getting that really nice, very spicy leather, just like the name implies, but I'm also getting kind of an oud in the background too, and that's very pleasant, really because saffron is often used to mediate the the fragrant note and accord of oud to soften it up a bit and make it ready to mingle with other notes. It's a nice fragrant note to introduce other notes to work well together as a, as a team. It's kind of like a coach, bringing everybody's differing opinions, but using them for a team effort. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's just a nice midline or medium spicy leather fragrance. And I really like it, but it also kind of has an, an oud feel to it. As such, that's what makes this i feel unique and uniquely versatile because you can also you can wear it in cooler weather but it's also something that i feel like you can wear to the office again with first impressions i can't go too deep into longevity or or projection but I, it's projecting really well off my skin the more it dries down the more leather you get too so spicy is just like the fence around the property and that beautiful house in the middle of the fence is the leather. When you get back far enough, you can see both, you can smell both. But the closer you get to that house, to the leather, the more leather you can you can smell. Fragrancebuy.ca is a Canadian discounter where I got this from. I'll link it in the description below so that if you're interested, you can check it out. Very well worth the price of admission. Extremely well worth it. This is going to go a very long way and I feel like it's going to get very, very popular. Actually, right before I filmed this, I glanced at the score in Fragrantica with 30 plus votes this is running right around a 4.4 out of 5 which is really good there's a lot of uh, discerning noses on the Fragrantica site and so it just kind of gives you an idea generally speaking of how well people are appreciating this so far in the early stages so again if you're interested in picking it up you might want to do so in the near future well guys that's it for my unboxing and first impressions of salvatore ferragamo's spicy leather special edition for 2021 i think it's a great addition to the line i love the variation in color you know you've got the ferragamo blue the the typical blue and then you go into the golden kind of a dark maroon plus the the golden theme and the elements are really very warm, very spicy, and perfect for this fragrance. If you've got this fragrance and you've been wearing it and you formed your own opinion, let me know what that opinion is in the comments below. However, thanks so much for your time today and for stopping by, checking out this video. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.